Hello viewer, welcome back. In this gRPC course of video series, in my last two videos, we have learned about what is gRPC and how it works. And also we looked at different kinds of APIs that gRPC enables us to implement. If you have not watched those two videos, please watch them and come back here. I gave those two links in the description, please check them out. From this video onwards, we are going to implement a simple API using gRPC framework step by step. Let's our hands get dirty. The first step is to set up a simple Java project using Maven with the gRPC libraries. And later we'll define a protocol uh, buffer file, which is a protocol file. I'm going to use IDE as my IntelliJ. So you're seeing the IntelliJ screen, just create new project. So select Maven. So I'm going to use Java 8 version. Next, so name, I'm going to give our project name as gRPC service, the location let it be. And artifact coordinates, group ID, I want to give it as dead detector. And the artifact name is gRPC service, version 1.0 snapshot, that's enough. Now we got our Maven project ready and we have to modify the pom file now so you can see the group id artifact id and version what we have defined now we have to add some dependencies which are relevant for grpc framework so that our project is ready to implement grpc apis so we need a bunch of dependencies i already copied those dependencies these are the dependencies that are required for any grpc project so that you can easily use the gRPC libraries to implement your service and APIs and also we need uh, some plugins which are required to convert our protobuf file into java steps so that these java steps are like uh, interfaces for our service so that any client can make a call to this java steps or interface and they can consume the service this is the plugin that we need to have in our uh, maven file pom file uh, let me explain what exactly this plugin does basically we are going to define our service in a protobuf file so we are going to place our protobuf file in a resources directory in our project so that once we have placed this protobuf file in this directory we have a plugin artifact this is the grpc artifact which is provided by the google so we have to use this compiler to generate the stubs from our protobuf file once we have this compiler in our project, it will read this protobuf file. It will generate the Java steps for us. So Java steps are nothing but service interfaces so that any client application can make a call to this specific interface and can consume the service. And this particular artifact is ProtoC GR Maven plugin. This actually what it does, you know, why gRPC compiler does its job, then it has to make a jar for our project. So and this just maven compiler plugin to compile our java source code so we are using 1.8 java version that's it and now we are ready to define our service in protobuf file so we are going to create the protobuf file in our project as we discussed we are going to create it under resources let us create a protobuf file under resources so the file name is user.proto proto is the extension for protocol buffers files so just create it the first line will be the syntax so syntax is proto3 so that is the version of proto3 that is the latest version here we have to define the java package so i'm going to give java package name as net Detector GRPC and now the service. It's very simple defining service in protocol buffers. It's you know so we have to start with service. The service name is going to be user. Now we have to define the methods in the service rpc this is the return type it remote rpc means remote procedure call so login and we are passing the request 
as a parameter that is login request this returns response we call it as api response we have to define another method called logout it will be empty message so we have to ensure it as empty this returns api response now we have defined a service but we have to define the message format so what is the format of this message we have to define it message login request so string username the number it actually this number is used by the grpc framework sorry protocol buffers for the backward compatibility if you want to know what is how exactly it works please watch my video about the protocol buffers you will come to know or else you can refer the grpc or protocol buffers documentation i have given the link in the description check it out and password two so as login request we are sending the username and password to the service so service expects these two parameters in the request so that it will process the request and response message should be api response so api response definition should be strong response message and it should give some code in case of something like error or maybe let make it a bit cleaner and we have to define the format of empty message as well so empty okay that's it in proto file we can define the message format message that we are going to exchange between the client and the server you can define that message format as well as the service so grpc efficiently uses this protocol buffers and create the services that are required for any api so we are ready to compile this code as we discussed once you run the maven clean install it will create the service interfaces for us there is something wrong i think that could be underscore let us run it again so build is success you can see that the steps are created by grpc compiler that is we don't need to do anything with these files we have the services ready actually this is service interface in the next video we are going to implement this service so that any client application can call this specific interface and can process the service so in the service implementation class we are going to implement the logic actually the conditions you know once you will see the request how it has to be processed those stuff so let us see that stuff in the next video